Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Snood games for the GBA. Snood is a port of the 1996 puzzle game Snood that came out on PC. The video is self-explanatory on what the game is and how it works, so I'm not insisting on this aspect. Overall, it's a great matching game. It's short but sweet. And even if you get multiple game types, you essentially do the same thing. Time attack, journey or puzzle are essentially the same. The only difference is that in time attack you do this in a given time limit, while in the journey mode you do this until you finish the board and progress to another harder puzzle. Overall the game is fun. Graphically it looks bad, at least in my eyes, but gameplay wise the game is ok. For some 10 minutes of fun, it's great. You can squeeze a lot of fun out of it, nor is it a good game. It's not broken nor bad either, but I can deny that I had fun playing it. Snood on Vacation is again a puzzle game that just by watching the video you already know how the game works and what it is. The game is great too. You get a campaign that spans in multiple locations. You do the very same thing again, but in different locations, which are actually just pictures. And unlike the other one, the first Snood game, in this one the pictures don't move. Also you get 4 mini games, which are similar to what you normally do, but you do it slightly different. And it's nice to have mini games in this game, because it makes it more varied. And even if they are different, they still feel the same. I don't know how to express it, I mean, they, you clearly see that they are different, but essentially they feel like they are the same thing as the other ones. I mean, snood grab means that you have to grab a snood and put it back. Um, in stacks, you have to stack snoods, and same goes with all of the mini games. But overall, the game is much more varied than the first one, and it has more puzzles and more content. So if you want to choose between snood 1 and snood 2, definitely choose snood 2. It has more content. Overall, the two games are great time killers. They aren't really something, but they still are great to play just to kill some time. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.